Well, hello. I'm making cookies. Dum da dum. I don't know what kind yet. I took two cups of butter, which is one big block of it, a pound of butter, and I melted it in the microwave for two minutes. That's because my microwave is slowish or something. And now I need some sugar. Ah! Well, I'm getting more than I bargained for. Let me get my cup measurer. One. Oh, I need four cups of sugar because I've got two cups of butter. I have to double it. Three. Everybody has to do this with their sugar. I guess this means I haven't made cookies lately. Okay, sugar, where are you? laughing. Whoopsie. Okay, there we go. That's our four cups of sugar. I'm kind of tired of this now. I'd like to go do something else. But now that I turn the camera on, I guess I'm stuck. Where's my whisk? I need some browns or some molasses. Where is my molasses? Here it is. The molasses. Oh, this is paint. I painted the inside of a can and my hand got in the way. Jeepers. I need the pipe wrench to take this off. Oh no. It heard me say that. We're just going to turn it brown. And I got a bunch, a little bit left in this, so I'm going to just empty my container. This is how you make brown sugar. It's how you make your cookies soft. And then to get the every last drip out, you know how you do that? You nuke it. Here we go, we'll nuke it in our dirty microwave. One, two, three, five. That's probably enough. We want boiling in there. There, see how it all comes out nicely now. Get rid of every last drop. Good to the last drop. Do you know you can put molasses in milk? Molasses milk is really good. It's just like you would make chocolate milk. And then to get the very last bit, we'll just leave it upside down. But I'll put the lid on.
because I can't put the hammer in the bowl, you know. had four. How many half cups do we have? One. Ah, 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 Two. Ah, 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 ah. I might not want to eat these because I have stuck my finger in them. Three, four, four well-beaten eggs, I know a lot of people like to use electric mixers, they finally get dirty, and then you have to clean them. And if you don't clean them, then somebody will notice when you pull it out and film with a dirty mixer. Okay, so that's it. Now we'll put in a little bit of vanilla. Or we could put in chicken bouillon. Now vanilla. I'll put in a lid full. All right, now we're ready to decide what we're making. What do you want to make? a piece of toast. Mm -hmm. It's really good toast too. It's 12 grain bread. Country harvest. And it has on it garlic apple butter. Okay, so now if I want these to be oatmeal cookies I could add the oatmeal now. If I wanted oatmeal chocolate chip, I could add both of them now. Let's do that. Now, oatmeal chocolate chip. What do we need with oatmeal? We need some cinnamon. That's about it. Okay, let's see where our cinnamon is today. These plants are getting watered. They are very excited. Can you see how all they're jumping up and down? See? Look at them. They're jumping up and down because they love it. Okay, the cinnamon is going to get mixed with the flour. So let's put some oatmeal in here. And we'll put some chocolate chips in. Let's get our chocolate chips. Virginia and Bo, or Virginia, thinks it would be a fun thing to do to make our... Oh, I could just make plain chocolate chip. Ooh, now that would be good. We'll put a pile of chocolate chips in there. Okay. We don't need this anymore. Oh, children, come and lick the spoon. Okay, now we need a wooden spoon. Because I like wooden spoons and because that's what I use. So that's what I'm going to get. And at the dollar store, you can get a pack of three wooden spoons for a dollar. Now if you add the chocolate chips at this point they'll get they'll be really they'll get all sticky and then they don't fall out so easily. Alright well let's add some oatmeal. You can 
mad about that much oatmeal without having to mess up the amount of flour you're going to put in. Well, it will mess it up. And then we'll get some flour. While these are gourds, they're going to go out. They're going to go to the great out of doors. Actually, they're going to go to the greenhouse. Because the greenhouse is my storage room. Okay, so we're going to put in one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But we need to mix our baking soda with it. Now, do I have any baking soda? Something tells me I don't have any baking soda. But we'll just have to search around in my little mess here and find out if we do or not. And if we don't, well, I guess we could use baking powder. It would be better to use baking soda, don't you think? Oh, I have baking soda up here in my food storage. Now, which one is it? Is it this one or is it this one? That looks like, um, well, this looks like salt. And that one over there looks like cornstarch. Does it have a name? Look at this! It's salt! What's this? F. What does F stand for? Uh, powdered milk? I think so. That must be powdered milk. Nice and hard. Solid. I think we could have a cake mix. I really need to get rid of these coppers. This very nice girl from Germany was going to come. But I told Virginia that that might not be a good idea because she's terrified of spiders. And my house is kind of a spider haven. All right, it's not in this one. That is other stuff. And what about this one? Well, cornstarch, just as I thunk it. Okay, well, there's also possibility it's in the food storage cupboard. You'll have to look here while I go to the grocery store when you can just open the cupboard. Ta-da! Have you ever seen a mess like that? that. What did we say? What did I tell you? You can't find the baking soda. Just look in the cupboard. It's better than looking where you put it so that it won't stink there anymore. That's right. So here we go. We open it up. Now it would probably take a whole teaspoon to do this whole bunch with baking soda. But baking soda can become a real problem if you have too much of it. So we'll put it in here. We'll mix it up with our dirty painted fingers. La 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 la. I'm going to mix this plain flour in there first. Now if I were to add water to it right now, I would get cake. I added 
tons and tons of flour, I would get crackers. If I had just enough flour, I'll get cookies. And it's a little too shiny. Anyway, it takes four cups to a flour for this amount of cookies, but I added all those, all that oatmeal. Oh, I want cinnamon too. You just can't add too much cinnamon. It's good for you. They're even figuring that out. They're so far behind. We knew that all the time. That's why Grandma always put cinnamon in the apple pie and great grandma. These people knew these things. But we have to have science to tell us because we're not gonna believe it. Science. Do it great grandma's way and you'll live a happy, healthy life. Unless you happen to be hit by the plague. Okay. Now that's very sticky. See how sticky that is? Hey, you're not even looking. Well, it's very sticky. So we add more. That's what we do when we have sticky. We add more. See, the oatmeal seems to just kind of go between everything. Unless you add a very huge amount. Another good reason not to use a mixer is sometimes you break your mixer because you have too much stuff in the bowl. You don't? Well, I do. You've watched me break my mixers. I've broken lots of things on YouTube before. if it would be under broken. If you did a Google for Nancy today, broken. There, that's not quite as bad. But it is still sort of, so I'll put the rest of my fourth cup of flour in. But I won't put in the four tablespoons that go along with it. See, it's not shiny anymore. Okay, well, that's the end of part one. The second part will be putting them on the cookie sheet and baking them. Goodbye. Where's that button?